welcome to the Modern Day Warrior. Today we have a special guest, Mr. Sean Kwan. Nice to have you. And yeah, good to be here too. So you are the COO of Trackomatic, a real-time video analytics tracking human traffic That's in right. anywhere where people congregate. That's right. That's right. You are also the founder and principal mentor of SKBTM, a training and mentorship company. In 30 seconds, can you share with us who you are, who you help, and how you do it? Sure, I think in a very um, short nutshell, I started my career in IT. I spent a good 20 years in IT before moving into aftermarket service. And that's where I started to think about the sales management that we are able to provide, the kind of help that we can help entrepreneurs, the young entrepreneurs. How, did, how are they going to grow into a profitable business? These are the experiences that we can gather. It takes a long journey. I'll be very happy to share with these young people. Mm -hmm. What is the number one skill set that you found that allowed you to go through that whole journey? Well, I think I thrive a lot on tenacity. Apart from tenacity, I think one of the skill sets that you want to really build are the multiple perspectives. How do you vision your approach from your end as well as to understand the different responses from the other end? It ranges from channels management, it ranges from uh, also to customers as well as your different business partners and your colleagues. It's actually a very, very wide spectrum of skill sets that are being required in the entire journey. What do you see is lacking in those who want to get hired or get promoted? Mm -hmm. What are the skill sets you think you, know, you wish you saw more of? I, I would like to see a lot more of the triangulation of three very critical pointers. One is a positive attitude. Another one is a positive mindset. And the third one will be skill set. When you start to grow into a different role, you want to grow bigger, you want to carry bigger responsibilities, you need a very different set of skills. And these skill sets can, be, can, can refer to channels management, uh, customer competencies, networking, business frameworks, etc. And each of these topics are very, very heavy in that. You need to clear off your mindset that you're not able to learn as you grow. You need to clear off the negative mindset that it is difficult to learn. This equilibrium is very critical, which is often lacking in a lot of um, new hires that we're looking for. You either have very good attitude, but you have a negative mindset, and that kind of prevents you from building your skill sets. Can you elaborate a little bit on the difference between mindset and attitude? Well, I'll give you an example. Okay, for, for hires who have a very good attitude, it is something that they want to do. They feel like doing, and they're very convicted that they want to do it, this attitude, positive. Okay? But the mindset tells them, you are weak, this is difficult, I may not want to do it. And that was preventing you from growing your skill sets. Because once you have a positive attitude and a positive mindset, it is very easy to drive you to pick up additional skill sets, which is very critical to the success of a role. And tenacity, you mentioned you can really build tenacity. Can you give an example? Well, tenacity to build a skill set literally have to revert back to the fundamental attitude of the person. You build a, an attitude that is positive and it helps you clear the negative mentality and you can start building onto skill sets. And this is where it keeps you going. Nothing is supposed to fail. You should not fail. As long as you have that kind of triangulation between the three, you will just keep going. And I term that as tenacity. Okay, fantastic. What do you see is lacking in those who want to get hired or get promoted? Mm -hmm. What are the skill sets you think you, know, you wish you saw more of? I think the first quality that I look for in a hiring is a positive attitude. Because with a positive attitude, it is very easy to mitigate the negative mindset. And by developing a positive mindset, it is very much easier to train and groom the skill set, which was the triangulation that I talked about. And the equilibrium between the three is not always present. You get good attitude, you got a little bit of mindset, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. And it is difficult to train this because the requirements in tech skills are too high. So uh, I look for all these three qualities in equilibrium. Let me ask you then, what are mm. three real actual items that people can do today to develop this uh, triangle of skills? Well, I think first and foremost, gap identification is always critical. You have to understand what are you lacking what is it that is preventing you from moving forward that is gap identification? Two, the desire to move and the actual execution to act is also very different. When you think about it that you want to do it, act on it, work on it. 
And these are the two key qualities, in fact, that will drive you to a lot of positive growth in your career. Um, and to summarize, or for, to end off, is there anything you want to share to our modern day warriors who are really keen to get promoted, get hired, and really just take on life? Any last words you want to share? For the people who want to get promoted, I guess the very important thing is they have to outgrow their current role. If you perform very, good, very well in your current role, it means that you are contained and there's no more further contribution that you can do. I, I guess if you really want to do well in your career, you need to develop additional skill sets that helps you to perform in additional responsibilities. That is key. Okay, well thank you very much, Sean. Okay. Thank you, Kimball.